Good evening, Rach. Good evening. It's a Sunday. Sunday fun day. And yes, I'm bumming. But I am going to actually change my t-shirt because I don't want to mess up my Green Life t-shirt. We are going to get ready to paint. Yes, we're making a kind of like a hangout studio to do our live yeah. YouTube. So like we have been kind of throwing around making this room um, an office room anyway because Kayla's been helping us a little bit with the office work. Mm -hmm. And instead of her coming into our room, all the kids coming into our room to use the printer, we decided to turn this room into like a little office room. Media room. Yeah, Pretty media much room. Do all our recording. Do our room. lives here so that it's not buffering and you guys can hear us. And we don't sound like we're in the middle of uh, the rainforest yeah. or crickets and stuff, right? Yeah. It just, the walls haven't been painted in like four years. So, so I'll show you the before mm -hmm. and show you some progress. Yeah. So we're gonna repaint all these walls and we'll show you the color as it gets done. Um, repaint the door all the way around, right? Yep. I gotta yep. clean all this and mm -hmm. we're gonna fix all this up, right? Yes, we are. So Rachel's gonna start taping. I, I bought a new picture today. So we were trying to go off those colors. Very pretty painting. So we'll show you. Yeah. Look, I don't have to hire anybody to do my office. No, or a studio. We have Kayla doing the wall blue. What, you can't get that high up there? No, I can't. <laughs> it's too short. You guys need a stool. <laughs> you got to get paint all over her. I'm going to get paint. Yeah, don't worry paint. about it. Just, yeah, just, do every, just do everything down all the way to the baseboard. And don't worry about getting it on a baseboard. Base just don't leave big chunks of paint on the baseboard. So, so we're painting the whole studio slash office this color <coughs> dino come on man it's my office here in the studio well that's where we're gonna do our lives we have to... okay i'll show you progress so i'll show you what we got done in the room so far that we're painting but i wanted to come out here and show you guys so the garden. i'm gonna show you the garden real quick um we're gonna get some uh tomatoes and stuff out of here we haven't been down in the garden too much right rach because it's been uh, really, really hot out and this stuff. I can't water it anymore. It's just so, so, so time consuming to water it, but it all still looks good. I'll show you some, and then I'll show you that room that we're working on afterwards. So as you can see, there's a lot of tomatoes ready. So we're gonna go through right now and get all these tomatoes and good stuff. I mean, it's crazy, these tomatoes. It's October almost, September 22nd, I think. And look, I still have all kinds of tomatoes on here. I can only imagine if I had the time to tend to it. Look, still some pretty big, nice tomatoes on here. Um, let me show you guys the okra. Look how big that is. That's way too big to eat. Then you have, there's just all kinds of stuff growing still. And this hasn't had any real good rain in like a month now. The plants would probably be doing a lot better if it had more rain. But let's go down here and look. No, <laughs> look at all the marigolds. And then there's jalapenos all in here still. Um, let's go down here. Look, all these tomatoes, more tomatoes. I don't even know when they grow. I don't know how they grow because they don't get water. Our peppers. Everything just looks so good. If Imagine if we were able to give it continuous water. Look, all the flowers. We're at the end of what? September? And there's all kinds of new peppers forming on these plants. It's just crazy. Some more tomatoes we can get out of here. And then our figs. Look at our figs, guys. They're not ready yet. Look, more tomatoes here. Look at this. Wow. And here's what I like over here. Look at all this. Still all good. And look, we got beans. Purple beans. I'm going to give these water tomorrow. 
Do we have any beans growing on them? Yeah, yeah, look. Little baby beans there, guys. And not much plant damage. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of uh, purple beans. And look, kale. Some good dinosaur kale there. This is my favorite to make kale chips. And then look, more peppers with flowers. Although these peppers here, guys, aren't going to produce much fruit to be able to eat because we're getting into where we're going to have our first free uh, frost in another month. So I don't think they'll grow big enough peppers by then. So let me help her pick this, then I'll go show you guys the room afterwards. So here's what we got done so far. We picked this color. We still have to do the baseboards white and the doors white. Yeah. So and then we're going to put all the kids' paintings, right? up here yes. on the wall right here. All so we'll show you more when I get done painting more of the baseboard and other things. So, and then the door is gonna be white. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna figure something out over here too to do. We're gonna definitely paint all this blue here. So I'm gonna work on that, getting all this blue and all the trim is gonna be white. So, and then we're gonna figure something out for over here. Okay, I'll show you more in a little bit. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Guess what today is? Today is Monday. <laughs> what mo What's so special about Monday? Oh, I don't know. You don't know what today is? Oh, today is the first day of spring. Hi. Spring? You're in the wrong I mean, season, Paul. boss. The <laughs> boss wants to go back to spring. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> Oh, today is the first day of fall. Yes, today's the first day of fall. I almost forgot. You wouldn't notice because it's still hot out. Yeah, I but, thought we were in spring. Yeah, she thought we were in spring still because it's so warm. I think we're supposed to be 80 to 90 degrees for the rest of the week. For the rest of September and it'll make it the hottest September on... By the way, I think there's only a couple weeks left, three or four weeks left. To, well... 22 days today of this video, but you guys are seeing, by the time you see it, it'll be like 15 days. Yeah, it'll only be like three weeks. Yeah, so we wanted to let you guys know, anybody who's not going to the GIE, if you want us to go to a specific piece of equipment and look at it and video it and find out some stuff on it, just uh, put it in the comments and we'll write a list of all these things because there's so much stuff that we couldn't really personally record every single thing and then make videos. So the specific things that people pick, we'll go and check them out for you guys. Okay, and so I don't wanna make this really long, but I wanna give you guys a background. What is GIE? It's the Green Industrial Plus Expo. Um, they have everything to do with green industry. So new equipment that's coming out, um, CRM programs that you can use, right? Is that right? CRM programs? I think so. You know, software programs that you can use, which were with Jobber. We are VIP guests yes. of Jobber um, going to this year. So mm -hmm. road to GIE, yay, get Jobber. Can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, we are very excited. And um, there's actually uh, hardscaping. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Classes you can take there, too. Yes, and there's classes. And a so, demo area. And a demo, demo area. area. Um, so in the past, we haven't taken the classes, and I don't think that we will. I no. think that it, you get more out of probably networking at that point. You know, classes we can take in the winter when we're home um, yes. and slower. So... So that's a little update because a lot of people are like, well, what's GIE? But um, yeah, so it's everything to do with the green industry. Yes. And actually Jobber does have, and I'll put the link, um, they have uh, a whole thing that they, a whole link that they sent me that actually um, is road to GIE and like what, like the whole schedule yeah. and everything. Everything. And who is actually going to be speaking with Jobber. Yes. So. So let's go and get this first one. We got to mow this one and I'm spraying it for weeds. So check the link so, down below. Yeah, check the link down below. For Jobber. So I finished mowing this one here. This was the first one of the day. Um, we're going to go and spray everything in here. All the weeds and stuff. And I'll show you the back with the boss did. But all these weeds we're going to spray in here. So nice. the boss mowed this. I sprayed it. Let's see how all these weeds do. We mow it higher now. He 
and we'll drop it next week when we go to aerate. We're mowing it higher now because it's just though there's uh, a lot of weeds left to spray on. So let's go. It's always something, guys. So we got one lawn mowed, one lawn sprayed, and then now we have a flat tire. So I gotta figure out what to do. I don't have a spare. So this is why you should always carry a spare, guys. I'm gonna have to leave my trailer. At this gas station, we're gonna go uh, get a new tire. So hopefully everything, nobody messes with it. We told the people at the store, they said, okay. So let me go get so this. So there you go. New tire put on, new rim, hour and a half delay. We do things that mess up your schedule during the day, guys. But you just move on, get it done and move on. Let's go do this next one. Finally, a couple hours later, we're at number two. I know, two. I was just about to say a couple hour detour. Now that I feel tired and not motivated to work. Listen, I changed the tire, man. Jack the jack up, jack the trailer up. I know, you did such a great job. We're going to do number two. This is a mow and a spray. We're going to spray all the weeds because we're going to be aerating and seeding this one soon. So, number yes. two, Rachel's going to mow over there. And I'm going to mow up the road and start spraying. You bopping over there? Be bopping? Okay, let's get this done. We're short on time. I got dry and dusty it is. So Rachel's getting this one mowed. I just gotta go weed eat the whole perimeter. Then I'm gonna go start spraying the back. Look how dusty it is. But it's only 84 out. I can spray the tenacity until 90 degrees, which I don't think we're gonna hit this week, so. Okay, I'll show you the after. So there's the after. And I sprayed this whole lawn with tenacity. So we'll see next week when we are eating seed how the weeds ended up. Off to the next one. Where'd the boss go? She's blending in with the trailer. Look at her. So we're back at the house. We only got two yards done, two sprayed. Still made a decent amount doing just two yards, but um, we have to be back. I gotta go pick up the kids. So in this video too, if you guys watched it this far, we're gonna do an experiment on my front yard here. Since we own, not own, since we're staying here a little while longer, I wanna see if I can get this nice. Boy, it got, Boy, it got dark out here already. It's seven o'clock. I'm used to getting it dark later. Um, so I'm going to set the phone up and you guys can watch, finish the rest of this video watching me mow the front yard. I'm going to set up the test areas that I'm going to do um, for the seed. And when we aerate it, I'm going to re-aerate the yard as I do each section. So you guys will see that. So hopefully tomorrow I can get it set up to where um, I can get this going to where I do a third, a third, and a third. Um, for my testing plot to see if I can grow a nice lawn here and see if planting at different temperatures later in the season, like closer to the frost, which which one does better, which one comes back better next year. So we'll go ahead and do that.
Now, I don't know how much of that you guys actually seen, but you can see the stripes in the dark. So, so that's done now. So you guys seen the end of that video. I mowed the lawn to prep it for what we're gonna try to do an experiment to try to get grass to grow up there and see when is the best time, um, how much water I'm gonna see since it's bone dry on my first area, how long it takes after watering for that to come back. So we're gonna do a couple different things. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you like this video. It might be short, I'm not sure what we got uh, filmed today. We only did the two yards you've seen. So have a good night, guys. And remember, be happy, or at least try. My glasses are dusty because I was just mowing.